everyone, it's Mernica here. Welcome back to Wellness Wednesday. I'm so excited to be here with you all. Of course, I picked a little flower from the garden for you. Gorgeous little purple one. I just love nature and all its beauty. And uh, I'm gonna do a little affirmation card, as always just to set the tone for our Wellness Wednesday. So let me pick one here. I demonstrate love through my actions. So that's a good one. Every, everything that we do either comes from love or fear. So if we can come from a place of love, then it's an expansive place and we have a choice to either come from that loving space, no matter what um, decision we have to make, it might be a challenging one. Um, and it's really important that we choose to come from that space of love. So I show love through my actions and through words of compassion, which is kind of relevant to today's Wellness Wednesday because we're going to be having a very special guest on, Jim Curtis, who is part of um, the Institute for Integrative Nutrition, which is actually where I graduated to become a certified health coach many years ago. So I'm excited to have him join today. They actually have just are just starting like um, a new coaching program. And so we're going to be talking about that, some incredible wellness tips, and also some other exciting news. I'm doing a scholarship program with them that you guys can all enter and learn about health and wellness. And what I love about the Institute for Integrative Nutrition is that you really learn the philosophy, the 360 um, philosophy on health and wellness, which is what I'm all about, as you guys know, like taking care of your mind, your body and your spirit, because it's all so connected. And that's what I really love about the program. So let me just join Jim now. It's been a little while, so bear with me. There we go. Hello. Hi, Miranda. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Nice to see you. Yeah, nice to finally see you too. Yeah, thanks so much for taking the time to chat with us all today. And well, there's so many exciting things happening at Inn. And I'd love, you know, for you to explain a little bit about uh, the program and the new program, because it's different to the one that I took. Like it's an updated version of what I took. Like, yeah. You know, almost 10 years ago now I studied Has it. Has it been that long? Yes. Wow. Like um, 2000, I graduated 2011. Really? Yeah. Do you still remember it? Yeah, of course. I incorporate every day the philosophies and, you know, I've, I just am so passionate about health and wellness and I just love the fact that the program really encourages that in all aspects. But I might need to do a little refresher course now that you've got all this new information. <laughs> You're, I think we can arrange that for you. But Wouldn't that be good? It's amazing to see how far people go with it. Um, you're one example of someone who's become a really kind of a leader in wellness and a really credible um, resource for wellness. And oftentimes people come because they're looking for a career transition or they're looking to um, put a little credibility or to get some knowledge around a passion and they're looking to really transition their career. So about 50% of the people do this because um, they're feeling stuck in their lives and they want a transformation. They want to, they want to transform themselves. They want to kind of get out of a rut or they want to make their family or their friend, their, their friends healthy. Yeah. The other 50% of people do this because they're like, my job is not good. You know, like I go to bed on Sunday night sick and I wake up anxious on Monday and I hate my job. And so we see with the great resignation, all these people that are resigning and they're, you know, more, more and more going towards health coaching for a career. Did you feel good when you're in service and you feel good when you, you're kind of spreading wellness when you're, do, when we always say when you're, when you're doing well by doing good. And, and also some people might just want to learn the course to just 
incorporate those tools into their own life. Like for me, that's what I really wanted to do because I'm so passionate about health and wellness and I want to be learning every day until the day I die and information is ever evolving. Yeah. I just really wanted to kind of expand my education for my own benefit uh, because I'm so passionate about health and I really feel like health is wealth. Mm -hmm. And then I'm able to share that with my family, with my friends, and obviously through my brand, Core Organics, uh, which is all about the mind, body, skin aspect. How's my skin look, by the way? Because I just it put looks on, glowing. I, I just put on say. Core Organics, literally. Oh, um, good. No, I, I like what you say about that holistic and the mental health um, aspect and how it's, you know, we often say you can drink green juice breakfast lunch and dinner if your relationships and your career and um and kind of your passions are, are not in the right place you'll still be unhealthy yeah so it's it is it is about everything that nourishes you from um finding love in your life and that's not only romantic love it's like how do you how do you truly love what you do how do you love with the people around you how do you love your work and how do you feel kind of this sense of love so in a sense, IN really is about love and in the sense of we want to show you how to love your life. Yeah. And how crazy that was part of the affirmation today. I demonstrate, I demonstrate love through my actions. Hey, That's what and, integrated nutrition is all about. Demonstrating yeah. love, I like, love that. and learning how to apply that for yourself and to share that with others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as we all know, like making sure that your balanced mind, body, spirit, and that you're feeding all of those areas is something that makes your cup more full. So then you can give more, you can, you can give from that place of abundance, not a place of lack. Like you really lovingly mm -hmm. can be a better mother, can be a better partner, can be a better, uh, you be, you know, better at your job because you feel like, centered and balanced and um full yourself yeah, I, I agree with that that's so so well put because you know we always say that once you find uh, that you're feeling good and that you're feeling centered and in flow and in alignment you can't help but to positively benefit the people around you yeah like you said your kids your family your friends you start to spread what we call this ripple effect of yeah. how of health and happiness and people see the difference in you. They're like, what are you doing? And it's a, you know, like you look better, you look happier. And what they're really feeling is the energy, your energy of, of living well, you know, yeah. of, of feeding yourself, not just healthy foods on your plate, but healthy foods in your primary foods, which are, are so many other things. So we, in the new course, we have a lot of really interesting uh, faculty members like um, Ellen Vora and Dr. Drew Ramsey and, Dr. Daniel Amen, who talk about food from oh, the mental Oh, Dr. Amen. Yeah. Do the brain know? doctor. Exactly, yes. I know him very well, yeah. Yeah, he's great, right? He's amazing. So he's okay. going to be speaking at our event in May. Are you going to come to our event in May? I hope so. Me too. I mean, I'm excited about this scholarship program that we're offering to everyone as well. Yes. But yeah. So the Miranda Kerr Scholarship, 100%. So um, we understand that wellness is not cheap and we wanna make wellness more affordable to more people. So in your name, our, one of our star graduates, yeah, someone leading the wellness world, uh, we created the Miranda Kerr Scholarship. So with this live, I think you'll save it and provide a link, but yes. we're giving away throughout the rest of this year, three free scholarships. So the first one, um, is you can apply for it now and yeah the, the applications i think have just opened and then we're going to announce the three winners for the three scholarships on my birthday april 20th um and then what else is there i'm going to put all the link in my bio so that people know how to apply but they basically do put together like a two minute video um, you know, explaining why they really want to be a part and learn of this program. Yeah. Um, and then we announce the winners. And yeah. then we also have 
40% off that we're giving to 50 runners up. That's right. That's right. I wish we could give everybody a free scholarship, but then we wouldn't be in business. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but yeah, and so we talk about that too, guys. When you go to become a health coach or you go to do the business, be in the business of um, doing good, you know, yeah. the first thing is to be financially healthy as well. So that we talk about in the course how to, how to actually make a living doing this. Oftentimes people think they have to give wellness away for free. Um, and you know, if Coca-Cola can make a bunch of money off of what they do, I think we should be able to you know, be financially healthy as well. So along with those three financial scholarships, yes, there'll be 50 people that get 40% off grant in Miranda's name as well. Yeah, I know my friend Melissa Wood, she did the course and has developed a big business based off her learnings from this course. So um, she yeah. really loves it as well. Yeah, she sure does. And um, we love her. Uh, yeah. She's and great. it's amazing because, as you were saying, like you can either do this course for your own knowledge, like 50% of people really just want to further their own knowledge, but you can also do this course and learn like business tools, like in addition to the health and wellness tools, to really set yourself up to start your own business in health and wellness. And, um, you know, and then you have the qualification behind you. Yeah. Miranda, do you remember, do you have a favorite lesson or teacher from the course when you did it? I just loved looking at everything when, you know, it was obviously 10 years ago when I did the course, but I just loved looking at every aspect, like, you know, in your career, like, how, how do you feel in your career? Are you following your passion? Does mm -hmm. it feel like, do you feel alive when you're, you know, going to work um these type of questions that came up like when you're eating are you feeling not only satisfied um from what you're eating but are you like partaking in a loving way with other people and eating together right that's a of, huge one yes yeah i loved like that philosophy of like you don't want to be sitting there eating something super healthy alone miserable because that is going to be detrimental if you're not happy and having those loving, warm feelings that will affect your digestion, you know? So yeah. I think like, obviously all the nutrition facts and whatnot were so important. Um, but for me kind of really understanding and um, that it's also connected to health and wellness. Like are you spending enough time like with your friends and people that uplift you? Are, is that a healthy relationship for you to be around that person? Since we are all energetic beings, like how does that affect your health? And I mean, I love that aspect of the program and I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's probably part of the new curriculum, right? Yeah, e even more so, uh, even more so. So I remember our founder, Joshua used to say, um, he had a friend and his friend wouldn't eat sweets. You know, he would not eat any sweetener even. He would not put sweetener in anything. No on honey? His yeah. On his birthday, he wouldn't have birthday cake. Definitely not. And all Joshua would say is he needed, he needed a little bit of sweet a little. life. You know? And that is the thing, you know, I've often, I've created this philosophy of like 80% healthy, 20% indulgent. And I feel like it was influenced from my course at in yeah. because it is about having that balance and having, you know, feeling like, yes, I'm going to consciously choose the foods that are nutritionally going to provide my body with the, you know, like foods that are going to nourish me. But at the same time, I'm also going to like, make sure that I'm happy and I'm with those that I love and care about. And, and I can have a balance of like, you know, maybe eating french fries with my friends and just like giggling about it because that's also good for me on a cellular level like yeah. but not in a detrimental way of like every day but having a balanced thought process about it 100 percent. yeah it's 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 a balance and it is you know are you going to forego joy and not eat anything when you go out to dinner with your friends because there's nothing to eat yeah. Or are you going to indulge in, in, a balanced, in a balanced way? And we talk about this crowding out in this idea of crowding out and this idea of bio-individuality, meaning um, there's no one 
way to eat for everyone. One person could be keto, one person could be vegetarian. And crowding out, it starts with like, okay, eat more broccoli and eat more, drink more water. Let's start yeah. there. Let's yeah. start there, right? And then, and then we can start to move towards healthier. It's instead of being so hard on ourselves and feeling so guilty when we eat something bad yeah. and um, ruining our joy that way. Instead, it's like, let's find joy in food and eat healthy at the same time. Yeah. And there are so many wonderful uh, recipes out there that are, are nutritious and also delicious. Like yes. an air fryer is the key for me personally. Love. Do you do a lot of air frying? I love it. Yeah. Because yeah. I really love potatoes. I'm like a potato girl. Um, so I love to just put them in the air fryer and the kids love them too. And they can still be crunchy but healthy. And, you know, pota potatoes aren't as bad as what people think. So... Mm -hmm. I eat a lot it's, of it's just it's just the way that you prepare them yeah and that's why i like the air fryer that's so. that's I, I i um i eat a lot of potatoes i eat a lot of carbs and, and it works it works for me on uh mostly mostly as long as i i don't overdo it but for the guys that just joined we should talk about the scholarship again the miranda kerr scholarship yeah yeah so, so the Miranda Kerr Scholarship Program is a program that we're offering that people can apply to today. I'll put the link in my bio for specific directions, but all you need to do is submit a two minute video of yourself explaining why you want to join the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. And uh, three winners will be chosen on April 20th on my birthday. And there are 50 runners up that will then be given 40% off the whole course for the yeah. year so yeah it's great and That's then great. yeah as i said i'll put all the details in for everyone if they you know so they can follow the links and things like that did you choose a flower already did i miss that yeah i chose this flower that's gorgeous yeah just a little purple one from the garden but I that's like the thing there's so much beauty in nature and i'm just fascinated i also have this this flower that i picked um and you know what's interesting about flowers and what i say in my book that i wrote a long time ago for young girls is like that each one of us is like a flower right you can't say this one is more beautiful than this one because they're just as beautiful as each other and they're just they're what is incredible about them is that they are so unique and that's like all of us as individuals we are unique and what we need to really do is embrace that uniqueness as opposed to like trying to be this we can just embrace that we're like this and it's much more alluring and attractive to everyone yeah. around you when you can fully embrace every aspect of yourself you know or at least try to mm -hmm. we're all human beings and there are things that obviously we want to better about ourselves and you know i think it's important to want to grow I feel like I want to grow and learn every day till the day I die um in every way you know and and I want to be a better mother a better you know business person obviously a better partner a better friend every day and I think that it's possible to become a better version of yourself every day but in saying that I also think it's really important to accept who you are your soul and this journey that you've been given in this life and really make the most of it. Yeah. Imagine if we all looked the same, how mundane that would be. That would be so terrible. Like if we wouldn't find any unique beauty anywhere. It would just all be the same. Yeah. So I love that analogy. And part of the course is about self love and acceptance. We dive deep into self love and acceptance because once you're, you start to find your own worth and your own love, um, and you're a lot more gentle on yourself. And when you're more gentle on yourself, guess who else you're more gentle with? Everyone else. Every, everyone else. Yeah. Everyone else. So that's a big part of the course. And you talked about nature, which I love that idea of kind of being in nature. And Dr. Zach Bush is one of our new teachers. And if anybody um, isn't familiar with him, he talks really about how, how being in nature makes us healthy. Oh, I believe it. Like that is my, where I find so much inspiration and regeneration. Yes, regeneration. Just putting my feet in the grass, like makes a huge difference to my day. And like yeah. putting my palms out and like 
feeling the sunlight in my palms and like visualizing every cell in my body being full of that light and that loving energy, you know, from the sun. It's like, it's a really great way to kind of re-energize. That's amazing. Yes. Yep. Yeah. We talk Hugging about a tree. <laughs> I live in New York City, so I have to like make a point of getting into something out of the out of the city or find a tree or a park or have lots of like plants in my apartment because it gets hard um, yeah. it gets hard but you need to find it and that's what Zach Bush talks about he also talks about that the microorganisms in our stomach yeah. that are controlling our our gut our digestion and our mood that they're not human they're not human so the microorganisms that live in our gut are not human. They're alive. They're not human. So we are almost like symbiotic with kind of this other element in nature that we have to really understand and control. And our stress affects them. What we eat affects them. Like these prebiotic and probiotics that we take affect them. So yeah. it, gets, it starts to get deep and really interesting. So yeah. some other things that are happening. That's cool. Um, what are some other things that you've learned that you apply to your life, like that you've learned from the course that you really lean into? I lean into the, the, um, the service part of it a lot. Yeah. I mean, oftentimes people don't know they want to be of service until they're really feeling good. And they're like, yeah. Oh my God, I have to share this somehow. Yeah. I really have to share this somehow. So I like the, I like the service aspect of it. I like the coaching aspects because oftentimes people are like, you know, I know all this stuff, you know, like I don't need to do it. I can just go out and, and talk to someone or I, people come to me already for advice, but it's one thing to be someone that people come to for advice. It's another thing to understand how to actually coach someone effectively. Yeah. So we, we talk about these high mileage questions and, and high mileage questions are questions that you can ask as a coach that get people to open up in a way that doesn't feel like you're telling them. It allows you to guide them to good health. And I really love that stuff. And also having a community um, within like doing this program, you are opening yourself to a community and everyone is really, um, I remember like everyone's really helpful and you can go on and like chat to each other and like, connect with like-minded people, which is also so important to further your like passion and your knowledge and expand, you know, expand mm -hmm. that with like-minded people is really interesting. Yeah, the community is super important. That's one of the best parts of it. I've yeah. met a lot of friends from I and, and I know that there are 155,000 graduates all over the world. Wow. That are meeting and our next community event is in Miami on May 21st and 22nd where the I am world is getting together. Um, I, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. By the way, Melissa Wood just popped in and said, I love you both. We love you, Melissa. <laughs> well, this is amazing. one of my favorites. One yeah. of my favorites. Um, I know. Yeah. So, I mean, and she balances it all really well as well. Being a mother, having her, you know, fitness program, which is incredible and like the whole health and wellness aspect of it all. So it's yeah. really awesome. I'm going to do some leg lifts right after this. And also these, I really like. Oh yeah, the arms. <laughs> when I'm doing this, my husband's like, are you really working out? And I'm like, yes, honey, this is sore. Like this if actually If I can feel burns. it in my shoulders, it means it's yeah. working. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, is there anything else that we need to chat about for I don't anyone? Think so. Anything else Just you want to? You're, you're amazing. I love your products. Oh, I good. Which products do you use? The um, scrub? The scrub and the um, the uh, moisturizer. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. The, this is the one that I keep in the shower for my husband and I. Yeah. This is the turmeric scrub. Like, it's also a mask, too. But you just, like, put it on. I, it's so uplifting in the shower. It has papaya enzymes and aspen bark and the rosehip or the rosehip seeds and the turmeric for the brightening and the peppermint is so invigorating. I just love it. Is that the turmeric? That's turmeric. That's right. That I love turmeric. Yeah, the turmeric is so brightening. And it's also yeah. good for you with your, um, my husband loves it because it prevents the ingrowings in the beard when you're, you know, scrubbing your face. And then that's the moisturizer, the turmeric glow moisturizer. Yeah. Which is 
amazing. It's so brightening and anti-aging and nourishing. And yeah, Melissa's like, that scrub, everyone is obsessed with the scrub. It doesn't <laughs> even matter if you're into organic products or not. Like there's no other product out there in the market that is quite like this. Like it's like I a agree. one. It's a, I like, agree. It's and by like, the way, turmeric, I, I could put turmeric in everything. There's not enough curcumin in my stuff. Same. I eat, I, and that's what Core Organics is all about, the, the beauty internally and externally, like the noni fruit that is also in every single product, like the turmeric and like the um, kakadu plum in our vitamin C serum because that is the highest naturally occurring vitamin C in the kakadu plum powder. Um, and my mom actually drinks it daily. Really? And so that's why I wanted to put it as the key, one of the key ingredients in uh, the vitamin C for brightening and mm. all of that. Someone's so, asking where they can get it. The, everyone, where they can get Cora? They can yeah. get it at um, coraorganics.com. can also get it at Sephora and also on Amazon now. Wow. Yeah. Do you, do you have dandelion vanilla tea? I love dandelion tea. How Do someone ask that question? Yeah. Yeah, I love dandelion. Um, there is that company T T something T. Well, I think it's called T. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Dandelion is. I have like this relationship with coffee where it's kind of like I love it, but I prefer to drink like a dandelion. So that's why I kind of go on and off. Like maybe I'll you know I'll have a dandelion instead of having a coffee that day. Yeah. I, I still drink coffee every day. Just I, one? I, I have one in the morning, yeah. It's, too, it, it's strong. It's extra strong. But I, I would never trade my coffee for dandelion tea. <laughs> that sounds terrible. But Dr. Armin says that coffee is not good for the brain. I know what he says. Yeah, you're like, it's, I know, but it's a balance. It's a balance. It's, so uh, I, tr I, I try my best. Oh. I do. I do. I, I try. There was a time where I was drinking three cups a day and I've, I've gone back. I've gone back. But see, that's good. That's good that you're just take, taking one cup a day now. Crowding out. Crowding yeah. out. First, just try that dandy, dandelion. That I will. Uh, maybe. Maybe. I'll, I'm not going to say I will. Because dandelion's a liver cleanser. So you're cleansing your liver at the same time as having like a delicious, you know, alternative. It tastes similar to coffee. What other supplements do you take? Um, well, right now, I'd love to do the smoothie, the medical medium heavy metal detox smoothie because it has the barley grass and the spirulina and the wild blueberries and the seaweed. Um, I also love this supplement. Um, it's called Nativum. It has like, um, let's see if I have it here. Uh, but with my supplements, oh, here it is. This is for focus and concentration. Mm -hmm. So it has in here NAD and coenzyme Q10. Um, so that's kind of something I take every day. Obviously, vitamin C, um, lemon balm, I really love. Sometimes I'll take it as a little dropper. Uh, it's very good for the nervous system. Um, B12, I have uh, Vimagy makes some really good B12 drops you can put under your tongue. Um, you I know, think... Dr. Amen, Dr. Amen says, and he has it with his brain health MD, he says, uh, there's saffron is amazing for um, the, brain. the brain and for mood. Yes, I actually drink the Happy Shake um, from Dr. Amen. I have it um, in here. So one of these is a happy shake. So one's a happy shake and one's a medical medium um, heavy metal <laughs> detox smoothie. So, you know, you just doing going it back all. Do you drink them both all day? Yes. And I just feel like, and I drink celery juice every morning as well. That's wow. really helped me a lot. I drink like this much celery juice every morning. That's a lot of celery juice. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I'm not a fan of celery juice, but I do love <laughs> beet juice <laughs> and green juice. In fact, I don't know where I had some green juice here that I ordered and it didn't come. But um, okay, let's. What I, we wanted to get across, we talked about a lot of good things today. So we have the Miranda Kerr Scholarship. If you're interested, we'll give a link. If you if you don't want the lucky three, we're going to give a grant to you, um, which you'll hear more about. 
We have the event, uh, May 21st and 22nd, that, um, that you can come to. And, um, and core products. We're going to start to do more with core products, I think, because I love them. And I know that our, our students would be interested in them. And oftentimes, we give our new students a gift. And that's probably going to be core products. Oh, uh, amazing. They're all certified organic. And we know, we know. that an organic yeah. ingredient has up to 60% more antioxidants than a non-organic ingredient. And that's why it, these products are blowing people's minds with the results because they're not just clean and healthy for you. They're results-driven, clinically active products that can help transform your skin, as you've seen yourself, in a healthy way. With none of this like BS like marketing. It's just, it is what it is. Yeah. You yeah, know? well, I love it. It's great. I love the work that you're doing. Oh, uh, thank you. And it's, you know, like, you, what, what I found is you in particular, but I am students but like you are so dynamic, right? You don't have to have one, one career mm -hmm. at a time. You could do multiple things. There are crossovers, especially in wellness um, and beauty and lifestyle. So, and I love like, I love to be able to like focus on my brand and like, really create products that I feel can help uplift people and help their skin. But at the same time, like I design these little teacups and like on the bottom of the teacups, um, there's like a positive word, just like on the back of Cora products, there's a positive word because every word we think affects our reality. And it's just a little reminder to have like, to bring that, you know, joy into your life. Same with like I design furniture. And the furniture collection is called Love, Joy, and Bliss. The second collection is called Tranquility. So that's what, you, what you're saying is like you can do multiple things when you find your passion. And for me, my passion is creating like products that can help uplift people and really hopefully bring, you know, um, something positive to their day. Yes, yeah. that's very well put. Meanwhile, I'm drinking water in here, by the way. No coffee, just to let you know. No dandelion either. There I'm going to have a dandy after this. You consume a, an incredible amount of liquid a day. You, oh, two I do. Big cups of water, your celery. It's interesting. I do, actually. And I start before the celery, I have room temperature water with one lemon. Really? Yeah. That's how you start your day when you wake up. Yeah. It used to be hot, but now it's room temperature. Why did you change? It's just kind of easier, like for me with the kids, like do I have time to sit there and boil the kettle? I'm like, no, just room temperature, it's fine. And it <laughs> seems to work just as well. All right, good. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I like it. Oh, it's been so lovely speaking to you. Thank you so much. And I'm excited for this scholarship program. Um, I'm gonna make sure that I save this so that people can go back and listen to it and watch it again. But also I'm gonna put all of the info in my bio to how everyone can sign up and hopefully, you know, be a part of this incredible program um, and learn more about health and wellness and fill your own cup and then overflow and help other people. Cause what? the more like-minded people we can have out there in health and wellness and taking care of themselves and everyone else. It's like, it's only going to be a positive thing for the world and more love to go around. I agree. I agree. Thanks. I'm super appreciative of you. Really. Aww, thank you. Thank you. I'm so Thanks appreciative for of you. All right. Lots of love everyone. Hope everyone's doing well and uh, see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.